Hello, this is Ravi from Informatica Global Customer Support and I'll be briefing on Power Center LAP authentication through SSL protocol. The agenda of this discussion would be a demonstration on each of the following fetching the relevant SSL certificate that has been configured on the lab server adding the same to the Power Center key store file to enable the SSL communication along with the relevant the configurations that has to go into the power center to have the communication SSL enabled. Let's uh, have a look at how we can possibly get the SSL certificate under consideration that has been configured on the LDAP server. Now, a uh, straightforward approach uh, to this is to get in touch with the concerned LDAP admin team so that the certificate can be got or retrieved. But a possible alternative could be like this. Open a browser and key in something like HTTPS followed by colon and two front slashes followed by the LDAP server and the SSL port. This should ideal, ideally result in something like a, a, an error that would state that the, this, this website has a security certificate issue. Going ahead with the uh, with the, uh, the, the site would result in, an, in a display like this which n might not be understandable but this would let us download the certificate involved by clicking the certificate error and selecting view certificates now essentially this is the certificate at least one of the possible certificates that are configured on their lab server. Go into the certification path and would let us uh, know the number of certificates involved. And going to the details would let us copy this particular certificate as a file onto the desktop. Going with the default options would let us save this certificate in the required location once done we have a certificate file with which we can work on to configure SSL across pass into server and the LDAP server the next step would be to s add this particular SSL certificate to the pass into key store. For the same, we need to come up with commands that could help us with importing the certificates. So let's have a look at the command that we have uh, we have under consideration essentially the tool that we would be using to import this particular certificate is is called key tool and the option that needs to go on with it is the import certificate option along with the alias that we want to give to that particular certificate the key store into which the certificate would get imported to which remains the same which will be placed in the path java gre lib security ca certs under power center home directory of the server power center server this follows the file option which follows the actual certificate that we have just imported or copied along with the password associated. A no prompt would ensure that 
no questions or no further options are asked and the certificate is simply imported into the mentioned key store let's copy this command and use it in the command prompt which is connected to the pass into server to add the certificate to the respective keystore file once the certificate is added to the keystore file we are done with the relevant certificates uh, in the power center keystore file for the SSL communication with the lab server the next step would be to configure the power center SSL related configuration so that it talks to the lab server through SSL for which we need to go to the admin console here we have the admin, admin console to, into which we need to log in and we need to go to the security tab of the same so that we can get into the lab configuration details as might be known that we need to fill in this server name port and so on related to the lab server for the lab connectivity now the port for this lab is usually 636 if for the SSL enabled lab servers coming down would have us thrown with other options like use SSL certificate option and the trust lab certificate option which are related with the topic under consideration right now use SSL certificate would let Informatica server know that the, the communication channel has to be through SSL so essentially the second option is is to trust any lab certificate that is configured on the lab server so even if the other two steps that we have just seen it's fine even if those two steps are not done if we enable this particular option but if the connectivity has to go without this option then the certificate has to be added to the CA search file that we just seen so the next step would be to do a test connection so let's begin with no option selected and a test connection in that case would fail because the lab server is expecting an SSL con communication with pass in the server if we have both enabled we don't check for the certificate that is coming from the lab server and hence the connection would go fine because pass enter would not would essentially trust any lab certificate configured on their lab server the actual option wherein uh, power center would establish an SSL communication with a lab server and validates the certificate that is coming from the lab server is through selecting only the first option the test connection here is going fine because we have downloaded and added the same into the required CA search file on the power center server We have seen and heard on how to configure the LLAP related SSL certificate on Power Center 
for enabling the SSL communication. We would love to hear from you. Please, please feel free in giving us your feedback on the mentioned channels. Thank you.